Hello, hello everybody and welcome to Oregon Springs. It has been a little while since I've been here. This is the first episode I'm recording in the new era of the channel. And I decided to start by doing a little bit of seeding off camera. Hopefully you notice a difference in the graphics if you haven't watched any of my other series. Oh, this is going to be not much fun. Um, if you haven't watched any of my other series, I encourage you to do so. All of them have now upgraded to this new era. So we need more... we need to refill this cedar basically. 30 seats left in it, which is just simply not enough. I can't remember if... Is that the seed ones over there? I think it is. I always do that. Oh, I'm driving over my own cedar there. Not advised at all. Neither is driving into your silos. Well, uh, what can you do? One of these things, isn't it? Maybe this is not where I get my seed. Where do I get the seed from again? It's been that long since I've played this map, I can't actually remember. Um, I think it was over the other side. Just go and have a little look here. It was over here somewhere, I think. I may be wrong here, but I seem to remember coming around here for something. And I did that again. Ironically, this tractor's too big. I'll just check that's fertilizer. Oh, there we go. I was right the first time round. I forgot to, to turn creator controls off. Can't remember how much money. Oh, we don't have an awful lot. Let me just turn that back on. Let's just turn that back on just to uh, not bankrupt ourselves refilling our cedar here. <coughs> I do have a few new mods as well that I will show to you in just a second. Once this is full, it's taking quite a while. It empties almost as quickly as it fills up. This is not going to be a very long episode, unfortunately. But there is a good reason for that. I'll turn that off and... Uh, there we go. Just put the tractors away, closing the doors as we go. Can't remember what's supposed to be in here. I think the cedar's meant to be in here. But the cedar's being left where it is just now. It will be being used again very soon. Looks like we have an overcast day, unfortunately. If I just cycle through the machines here, we have this the Peterbilt 587. Nice new lorry. This is a mod lorry, so I thought it was a bit in keeping with the map. 
and I also want to see if there's a new trailer. I know there's a new trailer, but what I actually want is to have a look at it. It's over here somewhere, where is it? This one, how big is it? 56,000 litres on a normal trailer hitch. Very nice indeed. I didn't know I could get these. This would be handy for one of my other series. But I'm looking for the big skip. And technically that one is bigger, but I'll go for the green container. And I'll get it in yellow. These creator tools are amazing. We've got trucks all the way to the end here. Attachers. Uh, I'll have a trailer hitch on it too. Main colour yellow. White tyres. Rim colour being black. Design. With the warning saying why not? Go all out. We're not paying for it anyway. Let me just cycle back through the machines to get to the new one. There it is. Very nice. Very yellow. In fact, I'm going to go and change the colour of it. Where is the workshop in this map? I think it's the same place you sell it. Apparently it's got the warning triangle on it, but I don't, I'm, not, I'm not seeing it personally. Uh, Customise. I'll have it black, please. Let's see how that looks. That should make a difference. It does indeed. Very nice. Very satin black look to it. With beacons, of course. Can never go wrong with beacons. It's a pity it doesn't reverse any quicker. And it's quite a long lorry as well. This is just going to be our trail, our uh, field lorry. I need to turn on the help window. Extend arm. Not the biggest user of IT runners, if I'm being honest, but be good to see if this works. This is going to look quite nice indeed. It's different. Has a maximum speed of 51 miles per hour. And so does this one. Although I don't think this one has beacons. Which is very unfortunate. So that other lorry should be able to keep up with us. Putting out clouds of black smoke. Yeah, reasonably nice interior. He is right behind us. <laughs> to go this way, I think. Can't remember. So this video is being recorded at 60 frames per second, which is quite nice. I think this is the way we go. I believe it is. I'll let him catch up. He's crashed. How did you manage that? You were going in a straight line and you managed to crash. Maybe there is an issue with this thing becoming unstable at speed. No, it appears to be fine. Brakes are concerning. <laughs> has those milk bottle tops for brakes. We'll go this way. He's a lunatic.
Don't know what he's doing. Not why I asked him to anyway. I had a feeling he'd crash there. Not to worry. Turn this one off here. Close, open. There we go. Any second now. Where is the new lorry? There it is. There you go. Just you keep crashing into things. It's the best thing you could possibly do. I have no idea if this thing's even going to fit in here. I would hope so. Fantastic. Just where I'd like it. Close that door. Over to this one. And let's check on our pigs. I can't even remember how many pigs I have. I have 21 pigs. I thought we had more than that. There's that dreaded trailer. I dislike that trailer greatly. I do this every time here. I always go the wrong way. I'm not sure if we have a scoop for this. Doesn't seem to be anywhere. Can't remember if I got one or not. Obviously not. Well, I just found the water fill point. I think I put one in myself. I want, not that, not that, that one. Hurry up and open. I knew there was a reason we bought this. Okay, I can't remember what it is now, but there is a reason. But it's going to the pig farm for a little while. It fits on the road quite nicely as well. Now, unfortunately the thumbnail for this video isn't going to make an awful lot of sense because uh, I don't do an awful lot of seeding in this episode at all. This episode's not going to be long enough to do any more seeding and uh, I finished it quite early on. I think I finished it right at the start of the video. But this is just a quick episode. Oh, apparently I hit something. No idea what. That's really useful. I can totally see past that bucket. Oh, he ran right up behind us. Open, please. Let's see if we can do this without squashing too many of the pigs. And turns out pigs can fly. Is that all? are complaining about that.
Fair enough, I suppose. And I just go over and close their gate. But I think that will do us for today's episode, unfortunately. I did mention it would be a shorter episode, but hopefully you have enjoyed it nonetheless. If you have enjoyed it, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel as it does help an awful lot. Thank you for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.